Well, no question. Western New York has been through a lot over the past year. You know this. So tonight we wanted to take some time to check in with everyone to see how you're doing. Two in your size Kelly does it gives us a little perspective tonight. You know, from tops to COVID uh, to the football player to people dying in their cars, this community has bounced back every time and we bounce back stronger. And we've erased so many lines through tragedy. We've erased lines of color. We've erased lines of bipartisanship. We've erased lines of sides of town and, um, and become more human to one another. And I believe that that's a mark of Buffalo that will stay with us forever. Pastor Darius Pridgen of True Bethel Baptist Church says these tragedies that bring us together will make us stronger. Monday night, he felt moved to pray with people on Facebook for Damar Hamlin. Buffalo is making a name for itself beyond tragedy, but showing how to react during tragedy and sticking together after tragedy. That's the real hope. And if you are feeling alone, not strong enough, or like you're having difficulty processing everything that's happened, licensed psychologist Dr. Amy Beth Taubleep says the most important thing to do is to acknowledge that. It's perfectly acceptable at times to feel like the world is too much. Accept it. Don't punish yourself for it. Don't come down on yourself and say, I should be better. This shouldn't be bothering me. No. If it's bothering you, own it and accept it. But the bottom line here is we need to take care of ourselves and recognize that it's okay to do so. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.